what's going on guys so yesterday out here on this lake i did a really really nice job on the peacocks in about an hour and 15 minutes or so i think i caught six of them and i lost three of them plus another mine and another bluegill so really good fishing here yesterday so less than 24 hours later uh conventional wisdom would say if it worked yesterday it'll work again today so fish the same areas fish the same techniques uh however i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that i just don't want to fish jerk baits again so we're gonna go with the Nico Tadpole. A uh, little, small little three inch soft plastic, but a large portion of that is in the tail, so it's a pretty slim profile. Just a fat body there, and it's on a 1 8 ounce jig head. So this lure has never let me down. One of my go-tos. Gonna be fishing that on my medium light Avidex with some six pound mono. Gonna fish the same spots I fished yesterday, because if the fish were there yesterday, they should be there today. And let's hope that they like the Nico Tadpole as much as they like the uh, Euro Tackle Z Spender yesterday. So let's get into some. All right, here's our Nico tadpole. Uh, watermelon color with red flake, I think it is. It's a, just a little bit cloudier today, but still fairly sunny. Temperature is still in the mid 90s, so it is a hot one. Don't want to spend too much time out here, so let's hope we can get into the fish here quickly. Another hour, hour 15 minutes, maybe an hour 30. If I can get into the fish, I would be happy that way. So we're going to swim this back to us with some twitches of the rod tip. There is a very nice drop off, probably about 30 feet from us. That's where a lot of the fish came yesterday, at least in this section of the lake. I just had a follow right there. So normally, not normally, but sometimes I would jig this off the bottom. But if I cast it out there and let it sink to the bottom, I am for sure going to get snagged on that drop off. So we're going to swim it back with some twitches of the rod tip and hope the fish like it. Oh, fish on. Oh, it's a mine. Oh, he cut me off on the rock. So again, there's fish under this cliff, but if you let them get down there, they're gonna cut your line right on this rock. So let's retie. All right, so we've got a small problem. I knew I only had one of those tadpoles in my tackle box, so before I left, I made sure to get a new pack out of storage, but I left it in my car. So we're done with the tadpole for today. I put on a Nico Helgramite, another lure that works really, really well for me. Uh, so we'll fish this around now, and hopefully this produces some fish. All right, let me drop this back on down here, right around this drop off. You know, almost anywhere you fish, if there are fish, it's probably gonna be an area like this that has some structure to it. And that's the risk you run. To find the fish, you gotta fish structure. And then if you're gonna fish structure, you're gonna end up losing some gear. Fish on. Right on the drop before it even hit the bottom. Oh no, he's gonna wrap me up around all these weeds. No, he's not. Oh, it's a nice fish. Thankfully, he swam out toward the middle. Let me get him up over the drop off though. I don't want him to cut me off on that like that. Mayan. It's a decent sized fish. Oh no. He spit the hook. Oh man. There we go, fish on. Little peacock. Not a monster, but a decent sized fish land our first one of the day because I've lost a couple of fish already today. Let's see if we can pull them on up here. All right, nice fish. All right, not a big one, but our first fish of the day. Again, pale in color. All the fish I caught this lake are pretty pale in color. Might be the 
higher water, lighter ground, lighter background. But our first fish of the day, let's get this guy back and let's keep going. Fish on. Another pea. That's the first time I called him a pea instead of a peacock, but whatever. Not a monster, but again, these guys put up a good fight on the medium light. Let's pull this guy on up here. Nice fish. All right, once again, not a monster, but a decent sized peacock. They put up a nice fight on this medium light tackle. Let's let this guy go and get back at it. Oh, fish on. Another peacock. Not a big one again, but even these smaller guys put up a good fight. Might be the biggest of the day. He's not huge, but big. Don't jump, don't jump. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Keep him down. Pulling a little bit of drag. Again, so much fun on a lighter action rod. I could fish a heavy rod, medium heavy, medium, whatever, but just would not be as much fun as with this medium uh, medium light. Come on in here, dude. Turn his head. get him on up here nice male got a little hump on him all right definitely the biggest fish of the day it's got a nice hump so you know it is a male put up a nice fight on the medium light rod the hunger might is paying off let's get a release on this guy and maybe we'll get one more Work these lily pads one last time here before I go. See if there's another fish in there. I'm sure there's a bunch in the middle, but that's just snag city right there. So let's work the edges. See if there's anything on the edges. Just had a little bite there, right? Nope, that's not a good cast. Uh, let's drop it in right there. I think that's where it was. I think that was another bite. All right, hold on. There might be a fish right in this kind of opening that's kind of hard to cast into right there. Now let's let it drop. I think that was another hit. Did I just get three hits in a row right there? That's a, that is a tough spot to cast into. Right there in that kind of opening between the pads. Let it drop. There we go. Yes. Oh, no. Ho, ho. Four hits in a row hooked up with it. Actually, I don't even know if I hooked up with it. Maybe just kind of bit and held on well. Is it still there? I doubt it's going to hit again. did hit again. Fifth cast, another pea. Little guy. C 
come on in here, dude. All right, so that is going to do it. It was a pretty tough day. I think I put three fish on the bank, all peacocks. Uh, lost probably another three or four fish. Uh, just couldn't keep them pinned to the hook, especially when they jumped. I lost a couple when they jumped. Didn't show them all to you. But yeah, not the best day, but still happy with three fish on the bank. That's better than no fish on the bank. So I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.